Already in the midst of a stressful stretch, which will feature 25 games in 25 days, the Padres endured a D.C. delay thanks to rain in Game 2. With an early 135 East Coast start in the series finale, the last thing the Friars might need is anything else extra or out of the ordinary. A 10.35 a.m. game back in Padre country. Friars wrap up their set in the nation's capital. Scoreless early. Pods threatening two men on, but John Lannon gets his counterpart, Chad Godin, to ground in the 4-6 inning ending ground out. We're scoreless, heading all the way to the sixth inning when Lannon is finally touched up. It's Kevin Kuzmina. Shoots one to right center. Josh Willingham, great effort out there as he makes a play for it, but it scoots past him. It'll allow Will Venable to score. It's a double for Kuzmina up one zip pod. Padres, the hammer though, well he'd have the last laugh. The Nats get on the board, and it is Willingham. Off Godan, first run allowed by Godan. This is the bottom of the seventh, and we are tied at one. We go to the bottom of the eighth, still 1-1. One, one. The Pods thinking two, but there's an error on the exchange from short to second. As a result, everybody's safe. Runners at first and second in the same frame. Adam Gitter Dunn makes him pay. An RBI to right center. This scores Willie Harris. Nats up 2-1. They're three outs away from the win. Now top nine, two outs. Mike McDougal on in relief of Landon, who went eight strong, trying to secure the win, earn the save. Uh-oh. Kyle Blanks ends all that. A two-out solo shot. We're tied at two. We go to the tenth. Extra innings for Austin Kearns. And a fastball. Right center. Austin Kearns wins the game for the Nationals. And he does have a shining moment. Austin Kearns is your hero. The walk-off RBI as the Nats take the series two games to one. John Lennon's outstanding eight innings of work wasted by the bullpen. Lennon, ironically enough, the only Nat to register more than one hit. 3-2 is your final in 10.